What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope everybody's doing well out there on this uh, Friday evening. I'm doing really good myself. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day as worship of the Most High. We are already in the sundown. Hopefully we still got our mind on the Most High as we go about our way through this life this evening to tomorrow evening sundown okay well i come across this story i wanted to share with y'all about a uh, los angeles uh pd you know uh, they got evidently they have a uh what's called a uh, lasd executioner squad there you know and so much to the point to where they ain't even got respect for the mayor all right goes to say Compton Mayor says deputies have terrorized the community for decades. You know? Compton mayors and city activists share stories of mistreatment by sheriff's deputy as they call for an investigation into a rogue deputy gang. They claim that they have a uh, matching tattoos and shit. Alright. Let's see what this particular uh, video has to tell about these rogues. Check this out. To more on an Eyewitness News investigation, the alleged sheriff's deputy gang that has branded its members the executioners. Today, city leaders in Compton say they're fed up. They're calling for a federal investigation. And as Carlos Grande reports, the mayor of Compton herself is speaking out about her own harrowing experience. They terrorize the community and then they cover their tracks. It is unacceptable. Is the Compton Sheriff Station being run by the executioners? a gang of rogue deputies with matching tattoos. Sheriff Alex Villanueva denied it last week, but today Compton's own mayor, Asia Brown, shared her own experience being pulled over by Compton deputies in June of last year. And I rolled the window down and I asked why was I being pulled over. Within seconds, almost seven to, to nine sheriff's deputy vehicles descended upon the scene. They ordered me out of my vehicle and they asked me to put my hands on top of the police vehicle so they can search me as if I were a criminal. Mind you, I was accompanied by my husband and my infant daughter in the back seat. I do not look like someone that is trafficking drugs. I was in my family's family vehicle. Her baby crying, her husband and car search for drugs. Asia Brown says deputies let her go after they realized she is the mayor. But even after filing a complaint, Mayor Brown says she's received no satisfactory answers from the Sheriff's Department. It's unacceptable. We will send a clear message to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department that you clean your house, you get your house in order, or we will surely help you do that. You have executioners, you have gangs in your own house. News of the executioners came to light last week in a claim filed by Compton Deputy Art Gonzalez. He says executioner deputies at the Compton Patrol Station celebrate shootings with tattoo parties, set illegal arrest quotas, and retaliated when he tried to blow the whistle. Compton community members say that sadly this is nothing new. Derek Cooper was arrested by Compton deputies last fall in front of the kids he leads in a youth academy. I don't even know what I'm being arrested for. I was shipped in a bus down to, excuse me, the county jail. I was so humiliated to be locked in a shower butt naked with over 200 men waiting to be processed. Jermel Henderson, a successful restaurant owner and new father, pulled over at gunpoint and detained last month by a Compton Sheriff's deputy. She hopped up the car very aggressive with her gun drawn. Like, for no reason, I asked her why she, why she was doing that. She said, oh, this is what we're doing, Compton. And it's, just, it's horrible. It's horrible. But time may be up for Compton deputies. City leaders say they're calling for a federal and state civil rights investigation, and they're exploring options to terminate their contract for law enforcement with the Sheriff's Department. We demand justice from the Compton Sheriff's, and we will no longer continue to pay you $22 million and up to terrorize this community. I'm Colonel Scronda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department released a statement saying in part, quote, we are aware of the allegations regarding Compton Station and have launched multiple investigations. Early on, the sheriff invited the FBI to conduct their own investigation and information is actively being shared with them. In my opinion, I think they have those little squads, little cliques like that throughout this entire country, you know, in law enforcement, you know, 
in every state and every city. I really do. Seeing how all this uh, police brutality happens to plague, you know, America's uh, streets or what have you, you know. Now, the fact that these uh, officers have no respect or regard for the mayor even, that tells you right there, hey, they have to go. They need to go. And that's just all there is to it. And uh, what's the deal with all these damn tattoos? You know more than a gang with badges, man. You're doing shit like that. You see? But see what the police departments, you know, across America don't understand is that there is more people than it is you. And should these people decide to band together to get rid of you, what you think going to happen? All this tyranny that you are exacting out here on the American streets will come to an end. Now, I know that um, when you're out here dealing with, uh, they see, let me tell you this. They see a lot of things that we, you know, don't see. And there's a lot of craziness out there on them damn streets, you know. It is. And eventually, it seemed like they tend to become that. You know, the same thing that they see. Not that I'm making excuses for them because they're, supposed, they're held to a higher standard, all right? They're held to a higher standard or what have you. That still don't give you a right to turn around and do the very same damn things that you are basically fighting the criminal for doing. You're doing the same damn thing. You're, you're fucking thugs with, with badges. That's worse, you see. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Because we are. Alright? And I need to make this public to these evil doers that's wearing these badges. Along with the, the criminals that's not. You're being watched. And I'm not talking about... Um, I mean, I'm not talking about... Your, by your local government, all right? You're being watched. And if you can only see the things <laughs> or the faces of the, the entities that are watching you, that might make you stop and think before you decide to make your next unlawful move. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.